many of you, many of you this weekend have said we should pray for the president. And we do pray for the president. And I've asked the president if we can pray for him tonight. And I'm going to ask Andrew to pray for President Trump. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Father God, I ask now for an impartation of your Holy Spirit. May the fullness of the Spirit of Jesus rest upon President Trump, that he be anointed with wisdom and understanding, with your counsel and might, with knowledge and fear of the Lord. And accordingly, may President Trump not judge by what he sees with his eyes, or decide by what he hears with his ears, or lean on his own understanding, but may he recognize your prompting and move according to your guidance. I ask that you give the president supernatural discernment to know who is trustworthy and who is not. Bring into the light all deception and intrigue. Expose and reverse the plans of those who would harm President Trump and this nation. In the name of Jesus, I break off all voices and influence that do not come from you, Father God. May your truth and peace surround and reign in the White House. God, you have raised up President Trump to govern at a time when there is a resurgence of oppression. Only you, Lord Jesus Christ, can anoint him to have victories over strongholds and to establish justice for the needy. Give him strength and courage to persevere in the constant battle that surrounds him and refresh him. Father God, I see that you have such a tender heart for President Trump. Draw him close to you. I ask now for an impartation of hunger for you so that he may love you with all his heart, soul, mind, and strength and delight in knowing you. And if he came and whispered in your name, may he go forward shouting your name. In Jesus' name, in the name of my King, I bless you. Amen. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's a great honor to be here. Tony, Pastor Brunson, who I've gotten to know very well. That was not easy. But we got him out, got him back to his family. And I want to thank you for that beautiful prayer. It means a lot. This evening, I'm deeply honored.